now we will talk about armor and all the different types of armor you can get. Now, Minas Tirith right now is probably the fastest way to get uh, pretty good armor because uh, I'll go to Smiths right now. This is the um, example of one of the armor it has right now. It is three slots and it comes with will and morale. Now, this is better than Dull Amroth, I think, because it has a little bit more armor, it has a little bit more will, but it has less slots. However, if you are low on morale essences, basically they give you free morale right there already. So you know, most people will, it's always good to have a little morale so you're not too squishy and stuff. So if you, I think this is a better version because morale essences are super expensive and you, if, and you want a little bit of morale, it's good to get this set. All of the armor in Dol Amroth, I mean not Dol Amroth, but Minas Tirith are like this. Three slots with a stat essence and a morale, um, a morale. And also you can pull, you can get two pieces of armor um, every three days. Of course, you, to do that, you will need to be doing the repeatables that you get access to once you become a friend with Minas Tirith. Once you become a friend with Minas Tirith, these NPCs, um, the Builder and the Smiths, will have you do repeatables that are uh, located here and there. And you do those every day until you get enough for your whole set. Again, it takes at least around three days to get two pieces because each day it gives at least, uh, I think, 12 or 10 a day. Yeah. So around... Um, three times two or whatever I don't who gives a crap about the math I don't I really care about math right uh, blah blah who the fuck cares but it's the fastest way to uh, basically get a uh, latest armor that's decent now Dull Amroth armor you can get at obviously Dull Amroth let me go to Dull Amroth right now and show you okay so I'm gonna show you guys the Dull Amroth armor the difference now this is the heavy armor um as you can see, it has four slots and it has a stat on it. But as you can see, the, it's less um, stat but one more extra. So if you have loads of morale essences, fine. You can, and you have loads of um, silver tokens and gold tokens, go ahead. Do, do Dolomroth, um, Dolomroth armor or you don't have morale essences but you have silver and gold tokens go ahead it's up to you really if you hear sneezing well you hear it okay so anyways again these um, silver and gold tokens to barter for this you get those also by doing the daily training exercises that I talked to you guys about when it comes to getting essences using the daily in Dol Amroth talking to this NPC here so yeah you can do a lot of stuff with the, those tokens in Dol Amroth so that's three armor types now basically I already talked to you about Minas Tirith armors which you will also require you to do the repeatables there then I've already talked about the Dol Amroth armor the other pl places you can get armor is the Moors also, crafted armor. Highest tier crafted armor actually have um, the you can put sockets on them, and they come with morale as well. The only problem with crafted armor is that basically it comes with fate instead of your main stat. Now, fate obviously is usable for some characters more than others but it's not a really a main stat but you know what I mean now the last armor type basically that I um, 
people basically are farming for, I don't know if they still are since the instances are basically over a year old. Um, I still do them, uh, but um, you can go to Eastern Gondor, and this is where the Osgiliath instances are, the three man and six man, where you get tokens from doing those instances. You would be able to barter for the five slot armor. Now, these give you no stat, however, as you can see, it gives you five slots, which basically means it's very flexible. I, pref I myself prefer these because once you cap out your mitts, cap out your finesse, well, which it depends on the class, obviously. Blah blah blah, who the fuck cares? After you have capped out everything, obviously, you have a lot more slots you can actually, um, put stuff in, if that makes sense. Obviously, there's crafted jewelry that is, um, um, crafted jewelry. You know what? That's what I should also talk to. So not only is there slotted armor, don't forget that craft there is crafted jewelry. Now, crafted jewelry, I, I'm a jeweler on this, I think, an Orion. They basically look like this. A three slots. And for the most part, some people use all crafted jewelry because they come with that morale. Or some use three crafted jewelry, three big battle jewelry. So, jewelry can be crafted obviously there's different these are all the outputs are agility and um, will but the morale is all the same it's, it comes with all the same bracelet earring and of course all this other crap so there you guys go about armor types so remember these armor right here requires you to run those um, three mans and six man and it requires these more girl crests that you get from there. Um, roving Threats ha do has a rare chance to give you one Morgul Crest, but rare. But 20 for each armor. Well, thanks guys for watching, and make sure you check out the other links to the guides for Essences and LIs, and check out the rest of my channels for other videos. So thanks guys for watching, leave a comment, subscribe, share, blah blah blah, check my video detail, blah 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 blah. Thanks guys, take care.